I've got my uh, Toro wheel horse up on jack stands. What I've got to do is remove this rear hub um, because I've got to replace the transaxle seal, which somebody in a fit of inspiration looks like they tried to make a homemade seal out of what well, looks like silicon rubber glue or or some sort of polyurethane putty or something I'm not sure but anyway it's begun to leak badly so I've got to replace that um, but in order to get that I've got to get that hub off so that's the first challenge all right I tell you this hub is stuck on there good I've uh, I've tried to put a little bit of heat on it and uh, tap it with a brass hammer to get it off uh, so I can install that uh, transaxle seal but uh, I even put a little bit of penetrating fluid on it and uh, nothing worked. I mean, you can't really hammer down hard on that thing because you can either crack the hub or you can uh, split that uh, little C-clamp that, that holds, the, uh, holds the axle inside the transaxle, at least as far as I understand it's what's in there. And uh, so I didn't want to do anything that's going to cause any major damage. So I figured the next step is to just go find a wheel puller somewhere. I've looked all over trying to find a... Uh wheel puller or a hub puller that I could rent to take that uh, rear hub off but I can't find one anywhere so I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to make do with what I've got and uh, fabricate some sort of uh, hub puller so here's the final product uh, yesterday after finishing the, uh, the welding and grinding and all that sort of thing uh, I put a coat of paint on it so now it's ready to uh, put to work all right, I'm going to put this on the hub now. Got this black bar. Take up the slack here. This screwed right in the center of the axle. All right. Looks like this has a possibility of working. Now I'm going to go get some. Uh, I'm going to get a little map tank and uh, put some heat on this. Squirt a little uh, penetrating fluid on it and see if we can't pull that hub, hub off. All right. I've got a little shield in place now so that I won't inadvertently uh, throw heat onto that gas tank. Uh, I've got some heat, map gas. I got a little brass hammer to tap on it if I need to give it a little extra persuasion. Uh, and I've got some uh, penetrating fluid. That, uh, so we'll see if this, if this hub is going to come off now, see if this uh, homemade hub puller is going to work. to mention is that on the back side of this hub there are two set screws you got to make sure you get those out before you start trying to pull the hub off at all so there we are you can see here where the 
transaxle seal is that I'm going to replace. It's on this end of this axle shaft here. I've got to re first of all remove this silicon rubber glue or a polyurethane putty or whatever it is somebody's used in there to try to make a seal previously. Before I do that, I will clean up this axle with some sandpaper, some uh, thousand grit sandpaper to make sure that when I slide the seal up that axle, I don't scar the seal in any way. That's the next step. Got the axle fairly well cleaned up. I'm gonna put a little thin coat of Marvel Mystery Oil on here so I can slide that so I can slide that seal up on there good. This is what the seal looks like. You can see it's cupped on one side and it's flat on the other side, and the flat side has sort of a little small retaining spring around it. The cupped side goes out away from the transaxle. The flat side goes in towards the transaxle. I want to have that seal right up there ready to pop in because once I start digging out that polyurethane, that transaxle may start leaking like crazy, I'm not sure. So I want to have that gasket, that uh, axle seal right ready to go in there. seal. I'm going to try to seat the new seal now. Give it a little square on the seat of the little marble mystery oil and on the gas on the seal itself. It needs to try to go in pretty evenly so I've got a piece of one and a quarter inch polyurethane here that I'm going to try to use to seat that with. seated. I think that should do it. And I've got the new seal in. I'm going to refill the transaxle with oil and run it a little bit here on jack stands just to make sure that new seal is not leaking before I put the hub back on and uh, we'll see how it goes. Now that I've got the transaxle seal fixed, and I've got the oil reservoir seal filled to uh, its cold capacity, the next step is going to be to bleed the air out of the transaxle. And uh, Toro describes how to do that in, in various user manuals, so I'm not going to go through that. But I'll bleed the air out of the transaxle, and then I will let it set up overnight. I'll put a piece of clean paper or a clean piece of cardboard under it so that I can see tomorrow if there's any leaks. And if there's no leaks, if the seal has done its job, then I will put everything back together, get the hub back on it. Hopefully there won't be any problems with that and uh, we should be good to go. It looks like the new transaxle seal has passed the static leakage test at least. It's been sitting overnight and there's no, no leakage under it. So um, I would say it's now time to put the hub back on. I thought that with the difficulty that we had of getting the hub off that it might be quite difficult to get it back on. But it turns out once the corrosion is cleaned from the axle, 
and once this thing has been broken loose once by taking it off, it really slides on quite easily. It really just slides right along that axle, no problem. We do have to get the key in, and the easiest way I've found is to go ahead and put the key in first. It's a square key, so it doesn't really matter which way it goes in. I'm going to tap it down. I'm going to tap it down with a brass hammer because I don't want to ding that key in any kind of way by hitting it with a steel hammer. And I've also lined up the key to about where I want the end of the hub to be. And I'm just matching this up to the other side. It's about 3 eighths to a half inch from the end of the axle. So that's where I'm going to put this one. Now I can put the hub right back on that. Just going to hold that key down. as I say to the other side so it's about three-eighths to a half inch from the end and now we're going to put the set screws in to put the set screws in you want to make sure that you've got the jam nut backed all the way out on the set screw that prevents you from hitting the jam nut and thinking that you've hit the axle and basically leaving the screw unsecured. Once you've got the set the jam nut all the way backed out, then you can turn the set screw in, get it hand tight, and then give it a good snug down with a little three eighths. And then you can slide a box in nine sixteenths over and bring the jam nut down. Once you've got the jam nut snugged in place, that's not going to back out of there. Same thing with the other one. Again, make, making sure the jam nut is backed all the way out. And that's it. That hub is back on there. We're ready to put the wheel on. Ready to put this thing to work. Now we're going to put the hub back on. Then bring down the jam nut. Tighten it, except I've got this thing on absolutely ass backwards. <laughs> 